Welcome back to our channel, Truth Seekers, where we reveal the startling truth behind Meghan Marl and Prince Harry's glitzy lifestyle. We are seeing a startling and unparalleled development in the saga of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, ladies and gentlemen, seekers of justice and defenders of the truth. In a move that can only be described as ruthless, the CEO of the Invictus Games Foundation, Scott Moore, has officially outed Prince Harry from his role as the event's patron, placing him alongside Mike Tindall, a former rugby player and Paralympian. Harry and Meghan, the Invictus Games, a beacon of hope for wounded, injured or sick veterans and armed forces personnel, have just witnessed a seismic shift that has sent shockwaves through the royal aficionados and the global audience alike. Let's analyze this shocking choice, which has everyone in the globe stunned and furious. Are you up for some Invictus Games? In 2014, a project that holds special meaning for Prince Harry was established to salute the spirit of the Invictus Games community and recognize the tenacity of veterans. Harry continued to be devoted to the event even after relocating to the US in 2020 with Meghan and their baby Archie. He proudly supported the event's cause and attended every edition. Scott Moore, the recently hired CEO, appears to have a grudge against the former royal family. Though, assuming the position in 2020, Moore has blasted Harry's choice to depart from the UK, charging him with shockingly betraying and leaving the Invictus Games community. Moore makes harsh accusations against the prince's loyalty and reliability, claiming that Harry used the games for his own financial and personal advantage. This cue to grass coincides with the Duke of Sussex preparing for the Invictus Games 10th anniversary celebration. This royal drama gains a layer of intrigue from the choice to replace him with Mike Tindall who is married to the Queen's granddaughter, Sara Phillips, and has a strong connection with Moore. Fans and participants have expressed their dismay and rage at Moore's decision, which has ignited a blaze of controversy. Many believe Moore has betrayed them, accusing him of abusing Harry, the same community the Invictus scheme seeks to assist, cruelly and unjustly. Desperate to keep his legacy with the games intact, Moore is now threatening to boycott and demonstrate against the approaching festivities. Harry urged Moore to think again, pointing out his unwavering devotion and commitment to the cause, declaring the games his life's work, pride, and delight. He further reminded Moore of his efforts and the influence he had on the occasion. Despite Harry's entreaties, Moore remained unwavering, stating that the choice was definitive and irrevocable. The whole audience is left questioning the outrageousness of this decision as word of Harry's departure makes its way to the media. Once a representation of strength and solidarity, the Invictus games are now tainted by power conflicts and internal conflict. To sum up, this unexpected development not only means that Harry will no longer be associated with the Invictus Games, but it also begs the issue of what the event's future holds. The controversy over Moore's choice has clouded the commemorations of the 10th anniversary. The scene is set for a struggle of wills, with the Invictus Games community divided between devotion to Prince Harry and the new sponsor, Mike Tyndall. As usual, the consequences of this choice will be felt for years to come. Please feel free to express your opinions in the space provided below. Until then. Please share your thoughts in the comments section. Watch our YouTube channel frequently for more stunning tales and scandalous exposes. To remain up to speed on the newest news from the royal family's realm, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you observing. We'll be back soon with some more intriguing royal family news. For now, goodbye.